stubborn belly fat remains that final frontier in the realm of toning and weight loss, with many people struggling to get rid of it for years. Why so many of us collect fat in the abdominal area? 1. Having fat in the middle of the body allows easy access for the body's organs to pull from it for quick energy. This is why the body favors storing fat there. 2. Stress leads the body to release a hormone called cortisol, and that triggers an increase of fat accumulation in the midsection. 3. Poor sleep can also lead your body to release more cortisol, potentially leading to more fat in the abdominal area. 4. Poor food choices that are high in sugar and saturated fat can lead to more belly fat. Alcohol also falls under this category, leading to the infamous beer belly. 5. Lack of exercise leads to fat accumulation. 6. Hormonal changes, such as declining estrogen in women during menopause, can lead to more midsection fat. How bad is belly fat? Excess belly fat can put you at risk for a variety of diseases, including Type 2 diabetes Certain types of cancer, such as breast and colon cancer Heart attacks and heart disease High cholesterol Why it is hard to get rid of fat in your belly One reason why it's hard to get rid of belly fat, it's a quick source of energy for the body. It's easy to accumulate but harder to lose since the body doesn't want to part with easy energy, Palinsky Wade says. Additionally, if you're under stress, your body will continue to release cortisol. That contributes to having more midsection fat. Women also tend to naturally hold on to more midsection fat for childbearing and nursing, Norville adds. Aging also works against you, Amsalem says. Testosterone helps to contribute to muscle mass in men. As a man loses testosterone with age, his body tends to lose muscle mass and gain weight. The loss of estrogen through perimenopause and menopause can change fat distribution in a woman's body, even if there isn't a major weight gain. The fat that once gathered in the breasts, hips and thighs instead concentrates in the abdominal area. There are a few changes you can make to your everyday habits to help whittle down your waistline. 1. Curb added sugar. Limit added sugar in your diet to less than 10% of your total calories, Palinsky Wade advises. Apps such as MyFitnessPal and Spark People can track your calories and help you look closer at the foods you eat. 2. Avoid alcohol. Alcoholic drinks are filled with extra, unneeded calories that make their way to your waistline. Plus, some drinks with alcohol, looking at you, sweet cocktails, are filled with sugar. 3. Eat more vegetables. Add more vegetables such as broccoli and spinach to your diet. These are filled with fiber, so you'll feel full more quickly and allow your digestive system to run more efficiently. This is important because constipation can lead to midsection bloat that goes away once you add more fiber-filled vegetables. 4. Eat balanced meals. Eat regular meals that include protein, complex carbohydrates and healthy fats, Amsalem advises. Foods rich in complex carbohydrates include bins, oatmeal and 100% whole grain bread. 5. Eat more protein. Protein digests more slowly than carbs, and that helps you to feel full longer, Palinsky Wade says. You also burn more calories digesting protein over simple carbs and fat. Consuming about 30% of your calories from protein can help you meet your daily needs and provide enough protein to help your metabolism and control your appetite. 6. Manage stress better. The world's a stressful place, and there's no way you can completely get rid of stress just to banish belly fat. However, you can learn how to control your reaction to stress so you aren't causing a 24-7 cortisol rush. 7. Do the right kind of exercise. 
cardio exercise, such as fast walking or aerobics, gets your blood pumping more. 8. Focus on a stronger core. Exercises that focus on the midsection won't lead you to magically wake up with less belly fat. A better approach is to combine a healthier diet, cardio, resistance training and core exercises. Your core muscles are in your back, abdomen, hips and pelvic area. 9. Sleep more. Most adults need 7 to 9 hours of shut eye a night, according to the National Sleep Foundation. Sleep also helps to control your appetite, as lack of sleep can make you want to eat more, and you'll likely choose foods with more sugar and unhealthy fats. 10. Measure your results. As you focus on losing belly fat, measuring your progress can hold you accountable but also can motivate you to continue to lose more. Measure your waistline and take pictures of your front, back and side. Progress may feel slow as the midsection is usually the last area to show change, especially for women however, slow and steady changes can lead to keeping off belly fat in the long term.